<laughs> Welcome, folks. Would you like flat or sparkling water to start? Garden hose will be fine. We prefer it to be hot and then metally. Oh, I don't care about that, ma'am. You know, this is a nice dinner and all, but I thought you guys were going to save this commercial money for Stewie's college fund. We are saving it, Brian. This is just a little celebration. You sure about this, Lois? I mean, I mean, the world of child acting can be a pretty bad environment for a kid. Maybe we should just let Stewie's childhood be about being a child. Whoa! Bring a gun to a knife fight! Look, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All I'm saying is just try to keep Stewie's best interests in mind. Relax, Brian. Stewie's fine. I mean, look at him. He's happier than a sunny side up egg. Midnight, where's my breakfast? Help! He's only gonna eat the toast and put a cigarette out on me! Oh, I guess there are other people auditioning too. Oh, is your child up for the cough syrup commercial too? You'd have no way of knowing this, but the moms tend to dress up. Are you guys talking about your kids? My daughter is the American Apparel slut baby. My son got crapped on in the last Jackass movie. Hi, everybody. We're a little crunched for time, so we're going to have to audition people right here in the hallway. You, do something exceptional. Ow! Ow! Oh, my grundle! It's bruised! It's bruised bad! Oh, okay, I'm out. I'm out. Tapping out. A damn disaster! Nom, 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 nom. Shut up! That's over! Lois made us do this, but I wanted to go to the Central Park merry-go-round. We had time to do both! Do you get pleasure out of humiliating your family? Yeah, is there some kind of sick joy in it? Why can't he just be Pierce Brosnan? Pierce Brosnan would have got this. In a heartbeat! See, this is the kind of thing I was talking about. And look at him, he can barely stand up. That's why I made this. I call it eight-hour energy. Whoa, mama, there's a kick like a mule. Who will buy this wonderful morning? Such a sky you never did see. And I feel powerful. Okay. And don't forget, if you screw this up, mommy's gonna kill all of your toys. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go psych out these other kids. Does this guy really think we're his parents? Stewie got the part? Yes! That is how you do it! Oh, hey, Brian. What's going on? Where's the fridge? Oh, we got a new one. So we booked that orange juice commercial, so we thought we'd make a few upgrades around the house. <laughs> Be for Stewie's college. He's an actor, you idiot. He doesn't need college. Look, I, I just don't think any of this is good for Stewie. It's great for Stewie. He's becoming a star. That's right. Man, this must be what it's like to... No, he doesn't. He's an idiot. You remember, he couldn't even figure out how to use a hotel business center. So, what business are you in? Oh, I'm just here to look at other people's emails who haven't logged out. Oh, hey. You caught me pigging out. I'm dipping this celery stalk into some lemon water, but don't freak out. I'm just going to smell it and then throw it in the trash. Yeah, whatever happened to him? I'll tell you what happened to him. He did porn. Boner from Growing Pains? Dead. Screech from Saved by the Bell? Porn. Corey Haim? Dead. Dana Plato? Porn, then dead. Oh, like Brian Singer. Exactly. The point is, it's a dark path. My God, I had no idea it could be so bad. Brian, I don't want to act anymore. Good. Now we just got to make Peter and Lois understand. Oh, my God. Here, drink this. I threw a little molly in there, too, so we'll go out clubbing afterwards. All right, action. As a mom, I want my kids to start their day right. And there's no better way than with a glass of fresh squeezed Sunnydale orange juice. Isn't that right, sweetie? Shut your hoop. These... Ah! I can't, I can't, I can't go right now with everybody watching. But, but I presume you understand the disrespect I intended. Oh my God, he's having a meltdown. You don't suppose this has anything to do with the sleep deprivation and narcotics? Well done. Not a bad performance. Thank you, Brian. I, oh, there's the poop. Right now. Oh, Stewie, Mommy and Daddy are so sorry. I guess we just got too caught up in your success and forgot that you're just a baby. Why are you winking at our baby, you creep? God, that's weird. I don't want to ever see that happen again. Well, we went a little crazy there, didn't we, Peter? 
But I'm glad we have our normal, very average, non-famous baby back. You know, I was once a very famous baby. Yeah? Yep. So you're just going to be a dancer and a drug addict? For a while. I might crash when I'm 18, but then I'll just turn to the Lord and working out. I'll, I'll just be a 180-degree different type of insufferable. No gain without sacrifice. The T, of course, stands for the sufferings of the cross. The R... You want some cocaine? Oh, my God, please, yes! That's all I want all the time! Good evening. I'm Glenn Quagmire, your instructor. Everyone look to your left. Now look to your right. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Mr. Quagmire, this is terrible, and do I really have to be here? Well, the law does give you a choice, this or chemical castration. Well, I could take a whack at hand-distressing furniture. We don't say whack. Ugh! 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 Very good, Stewie. You grunt like a Hungarian lesbian. <sighs> Thanks, Dimitri. Hi. So anyway, my ex said, if you bring home one more tennis trophy, I am out of here. Well, she was gone in two days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian. Oh, Brian? Well, that's my Irish cousin. <laughs> How are you paying for that? Well, if you must know, we're putting it on Philippa's husband's account. Does Bert know about this? He would if he wasn't working all the time. Meg, can you hand me the paper plates? I can't believe we're having an ice cream cake to celebrate Chris graduating from sex offender school. Well, the opportunities to celebrate don't come often in this household. Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Nice crank, you dirty little bastard. Sorry, I'll take that. Here's your cake. I ate a great deal of it. Oh, there you are. How was your first day out of rehab? It was terrible. Taking that class made no difference. Nobody wants anything to do with me. Well, I'm glad we're finally getting some practice in. Yeah, nothing like running around after eating a seafood tower. <laughs> You've never played tennis, have you? Not once. Damn it, Brian! I entered us in that tournament because you said you could play. And I will not be humiliated in front of shallow, rich alcoholics. Hey, Chris. I see you walked across the grass again instead of using the walk. You're really wearing a path, aren't you? We call that Chris's Trail, right there. Chris's Trail. You can't. I'm sorry, Chris, but you're just gonna have to accept that from now on, people are gonna see you as a sex-crazed pervert. And there's nothing you can do to change that. Chris? W what the hell happened to you? Mother, father, I decided to have myself chemically castrated. <laughs> I can't even look at you. There can't be a whole store. To be fair, they also have a couple of kaleidoscopes. Oh, can I come? Lois, can I go to the store with that thing? Splendid. I'll go get my burlap wallet. Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. There's a lot of great things about having a sex drive that you're missing out on. Like what? Well, there's the post-orgy meals at a swingers party. You're gonna love her ambrosia. I was thinking about this seven-layer dip the whole time I was chowing Ronald. I don't like this. I want to go home. You know what's sad? There's hardly any other fathers and sons here. I don't know, Lois. I just don't think Chris is gonna change his mind. Uh, I know. It's only a matter of time before he shaves one side of his head and swoops the rest of the hair over. That's spanking it? Yes, Peter. I have managed to redirect that energy into my studies. In fact, today I received the Kaplan Prize in biology. Chris, that's amazing. All right, well, I'm going to put some flowers in a wagon and walk around town. All right, Brian, we win this set. The tournament's ours. Yeah, come on, let's do this. I can already see our names in the newsletter right below the deaths from the previous quarter. Uh. Out! What? Your ball was long. Are you me? That thing was in! You're gonna penalize us because you're a blind blue jacket Oh, you're warning me? I'm warning you! I'm gonna go to your house and your wife! You proud of yourself? Tennis club security guard your kids look up to you? Big man throwing out a baby and a dog. Tough guy. So, to find the area of this circle, we're gonna need to use pi, whose digits go on forever. <laughs> Can you imagine if our pi was endless? <laughs> We'd all be changing our belt sizes. I bet that caught him by surprise. Definitely. 
Well, I hope you know that's not who I am anymore. I do. And I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. Well, Chris, you killed that librarian, but we're glad to have you back to your old self. Mrs. Laporta worked at that school for 54 years. Uh, I guess it's that or be kinder on the tennis court. Where have you been? <laughs>